all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial we be trying to explain a very nice platform that i've been working on datacf.com right so the name of the platform is datacf.com it is a simple platform that allows you to be able to practice data science in a format of ctf right so it's just a platform that is gamifying data science education so let's see what this platform has to offer us so i'll just go back here we have an option of learning, competing, and then you can also make money with your data science skills. So what is this CTF? So this is a simple platform about it. So let me know your opinion about it, where I can change and what I can add to it. And then we have why data CTF. So it's designed for designers, data architects, data analysis, or data analyst people. Mm, we have data scientists, DevOps, data engineers, database administrators, developers, and then we have several data capture the flash you can. There's also the data, data pack, right? Okay, so let's go back here and let's explore it. So I'll just go back. In case you have an account, you just go back and join. So join now. Then you can sign up, right? So you can just create an account. In case you already have an account, you can just sign in here, right? In case you already have an account. Perfect. So let, let's sign up because I already have an account. So once you sign up, it's going to give you this very nice sidebar here. Perfect. And then your user, username is going to be shown here. So let's explore the various things we have. So if I go back here, we have the data CTFs, different CTFs. We have the data boxes. So we're exploring them little after the other. So we have several challenges. We have data collection challenges. We have ETA challenges. We have feature engineering challenges. We have NLP challenges, very nice. We have machine learning challenges, predictive analysis, and then the rest, right? So with time, you'll be adding more to it. So let me know your opinion. You can enter now. So this is for the NLP CTF challenges. So we'll be trying to explore different ways. So this is so this. Your company was tasked to build an n length messaging system like Twitter, right? So Twitter is having, in the beginning, Twitter had about like 124 characters, so something like that. So you have been given a file with a message on it. Then you have been asked by your supervisor to check if the message meets the number required for the message system. So that is a simple problem. So I'm supposed to use your NLP test analytics skills to visit. You can just click on this to play. And then this is the question, right? So you can just put your flag in, right? If you find the flag. So all the flag must start with data CTF and then your flag. And then we have the option of getting the data set. So this is the data set here. We also have hints, right? So you can click on it and you can just find some hints here. Very cool. So that is something very basic, right? You can click on this to download the data set that you want. And also has another session to show you the tools you can use for this task. So, so that you know the tools you are using. So you have Python, Spacey, regular expression, and then you can also install it with this particular instruction, right? very cool there's also a scoreboard which shows your score right the number of games i've played and then you also have the, the, your main page right so you can just go back to the main page which is for the nlp right very cool so there are several questions so we'll be adding more questions as time goes on very nice so that is one so let's go back to the ctf so that is one aspect of the app the ctfs right you can also move from here and go to the data boxes which are full-fledged projects right so you can search for your project here so you can search for your data you can see retired machines right do that are done will that are already off and then you can see the option so this is hidden in plain sight this is the intro we have the time just created right some time ago which is quite far yeah january day the points and then the person that designed this box you can click on this and then you can start playing so the same option the question is here you have your data or your assets that you some of them you're supposed to download so there's an image you can download it and you're supposed to find the flag within that particular image this is using to want to assess how you think right it's going to give you a hint so the flag is obvious hidden in plain sight right so it's an image so your option so let me see whether we can play this I'll copy this one download here's an image Right, so I can save this image here. 
So let me save it on my desktop. Right, so there's the name of the image, right? And I want to see. So based on this image, you may be thinking it's just an image, right? But you can let's play it out. So I'll go back again and see how I go back to my desktop. Where it was my desktop here. You have my image, which is this image that we had here, right? So in case I can I want to open it. If I go back, let's check it out. I can open it with eye of norm the the D box, right? So I of gnome, I'm going to open this particular image. So this is so that means that's the right image. And I want to be able to see. So I can just check it out. D box. If I check it out, you can see that this is an image, right? A JPEG image. Perfect, right? Here. Yeah. So the same thing. Let's see what we can also do if I go with string. The same stuff. I use strength to check it. You see? Yes, it's, I think it's supposed to be strength here. Yeah. For sure. Put with strength. Yeah, I've forgotten all my liners. Yeah. And voila. As you see, the moment we just exploit with strength, we could see all the gibberish. Right? And you could see that this is also having a data set within it. So, although it's an image, right? It's an image as we saw here. It's an image, but it's having a data set within them. Right? So there's a data set here. <laughs> right, so your task is to extract this particular data set from it. So how do you do that? So that's where the task comes. We so there's data set within it, right? So you must extract it from here. So how do you do that? So that's where you can just do it on zip. Then we can just go with the image e box. Then extract. So now we have on zip them. If I go back. So we have my data set here. <laughs> and if I go into my data set so we have my CTF dataset and now I can just use Sublime to open this particular one. So we are using Sublime to open it. So you should be thinking, right? So this is it. So this is just it, right? So now how do we find the flag? <laughs> That's going to be another problem. So the flag must, as you already know, the flag is always with data CTF, so you can just check it out to see the flag right so where is it so looking at the can so the only option is that now you have to use maybe pandas to read it so let's use pandas so I python array which is pandas to read this particular data set and see if we can identify the flag so as you can see it is quite interesting right it's quite intuitive so let's import as speed. so I'm also open up to contributions in case you want to create your own data box and then submit it to us and let me know your opinion about it right pd.read underscore csv and I'll pass in my ctf data set so I think yeah data set let's see pdf Let's check it out. So we are looking for the flag, right? So df dot columns. The df. Let's go into the description. The df. The description. Column. You want to see if there is a flag there. Hmm. You can't find out. So how are you going to find the flag? That's another issue. So that's something you should also find out. <laughs> Okay, so let's go back and see if we will get some information from where we had. So we have seen that we got an image, but let me see. So hidden in plain sight is a favorite slogan. In order to secure his identity agent, I want to use a photo sharing app to communicate. You have been given the photo sharing app to identify the flag. Uh, right. So if I go back, let's check the hint. Hidden in plain sight. So what if the the flag is hidden in plain sight? So how do you find the term hidden in plain sight within this test? So we can just go back here. Okay. Let's see whether we can use this simple option here. Hidden. Yeah, you see that we could find the way that says type in hidden. We said we had hidden in plain sight, right? So it's just here. So this is a flag. Right. So how do you even use pandas to find it? 
so that is going to be something else so df dot as it's pandas so df describe or description that train contains data ctf so we want to find every part of it that contains that and I, you know that string contains can also take in a regular expression voila so that now using this string contains data ctf right, that is the name of the platform we could find out that it is in my level yes that's when we use the sublime we found that it's on line 13 but column 11 right so now we can just go back to df dot dialog number eleven. We have gotten it, so let's get only the description. And voila, we have gotten it right. So that is how to work it. So if I copy this one here, send that stuff, copy this, and let's go back to our data box, paste it here, submit. Submitting answer, hooray! You got it correct, right? So, correct, right? So, you got some points, so you have gotten some points, yeah. That is very cool, right? So, that is how we got 130 points. That is how this platform is that 130 points is here, perfect. So, that is one of the aspects of it. So, that is the data box. So, we have you can just explore the platform. We have CTS, we have data box, we have write ups, we have uh, data exercises. So, let's go to the SQL exercise and see how it is. So this is just SQL size to help you master SQL. So let's pick the basics of SQL. So write a query to display all information in the current table. So the name of the table is called country. That is the name of the table. So let's click on attempt. And then this is it, right? So we have from the platform, we have the question, right? You see it? We have the table, we have the answer, and then we have a practice solution area right so now I can actually type in the code so let's type in the code here so select or from the table name is country this equate to display all the tables right so this let's click on execute so submitting query let's see the result so this is the query so perfect so you will be able to get all the queries so this is the Query it is working right so since it's working I can now go back here and copy this yep and then when I copy it I can now come back to the question and then put it here so this perfect so now we are correct right so that is the correct answer so SQL can be used as DML these are the hints that the data management to via select and then what manipulation yeah and then insect right etc so it's a very useful platform in which you can try more i need more help i need i want, to, I want more feedback to see how it is right so i'll see whether to continue or not and you can also help in case you want to contribute there's also data learning which you can learn data science you can have different work truths there's cheats cheat work truths per pandas circuit learn nlp the rest there is also cheat sheets in which you can get cheat sheets for different languages python numpy tensorflow so if i go back tensorflow is going to give me a description of tensorflow the tensorflow basics these are cheat sheets you have the layers how to create your own layers and all of these things right? so let me know your opinion about it and in case you want to sponsor it let us also know so this is also the side box the sidebar data box the data exercises, the CTFs, we have the learning parts, we have the cheat sheet, right? And we have the SQL exercises. So thank you for watching. See you another time. Stay blessed. Bye.